Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Building a Nation with Team Canada and today we return to the 2021 North American Gold Cup for the semi-final match versus Panama. It's a game that's been getting a lot of buzz recently. We've been getting several emails about it. First and foremost, it's expected to be a sellout in the Rose Bowl, 92,000 capacity, and we're expected to sell out every single one of those tickets. So it should be an outstanding matchup. We, of course, face Sort of the upstart, Panama, in this tournament. They pulled the big upset over Jamaica. And we're heavy favorites. We're 5-4 to four favorites. Canada are just about favorites to overcome the opposition on what should prove a tightly contested affair against Panama. Potential final clash against Mexico awaits the winner. Neither team has any real selection worries going into the game, so that's good. It's Judgment Day, apparently, for Canada. The media are labeling the semifinal against Panama as now or never for two evenly matched sides with massive excitement gripping the Canadian nation. Zebu Jr. will uh, you know, lead his team to the Rose Bowl knowing that the entire nation will be glued to their television sets willing Canada on. So we got a lot of pressure going into this one, apparently. The fans back at home really want a Gold Cup championship, so we'll try to give them one. And, uh, you know, it's just building on that expectation going into the World Cup. They want to know that Team Canada has a shot in the World Cup. And so every victory sort of leads cred lends credence to that uh, belief. So let's go get to the match preview Seen the odds. We are the favorites. We're in the whites again today with Panama taking the red jerseys. We haven't played them a lot recently. We've got one win versus Panama. Now, I don't know exactly how uh, correct that is. All right, let's take a look. 2021, We did we play Panama, we did not play Panama, not that I can see anyway. 2020, Guatemala, Curaçao, South Korea, nope. Barbados, Costa Rica, nope. Any Pan there we go, we beat Panama 3-0 in the Gold Cup in 2019. And that appears to be our only time playing against Panama. So, we're not too familiar with these these guys, these this team we're playing against this nation this proud nation of panama we haven't played them very much but they are coming in in strong form currently three wins two draws no losses in their last five games we can take a look at panama see exactly where they stack up in terms of world ranking 76 in the world that's fairly respectable i mean that's where we started out basically when we started this save was around there 80th type position so you know they could jump up they could uh, prove to be a threat we'll see it's a uh, small nation in terms of population only 3.48 million people in panama so uh, you know they've got a small player pool to choose from but they do have some good players they do have some recognizable players their captain anibal godoy Panamanian, their uh, vice captain, Roman Torres, another familiar guy, plays in uh, MLS. Key player, uh, Murillo, another guy that uh, we're definitely famil familiar with. Let's take a look at the team as a whole. Murillo playing right back, playing for the Red Bulls. We've played against this guy several times. Good player, very good right back. He should cause us a lot of problems. Valued at 4.1 million. Take a look at Godoy. Another familiar name playing for DC United. Another very good uh, central midfielder. So this team should stack up with ours very well. They've got several MLS players. Jose Murillo. Contracted to Municipal. Another good team. Another good player. Uh, 
you know, their values are fairly similar to ours. Yoel. Hmm. Barcinas. Ooh. Anyway. Um, yeah, he's pretty good. Left, right winger. Physically not terrific, but he's a well-balanced player. Good long shooting, so he could definitely be a threat from the wings. 27-year-old, 65 caps, only four goals for Panama. But yeah, they've got a good, solid team. Not necessarily spectacular, but very solid. Lots of MLS quality player. So it could be a bit of an issue for us. Let's get to our team selection. And we're going to go with uh, the same lineup, I think. Now we got a couple of guys who are a little bit tired. You know, so we could, I think we could change a couple things around. Make a couple of moves here and there. I think. Ooh, boy, the big move would be taking David off the striker position. But I think. I think he proved to be just too good at the striker position. So, um, oh boy, I'm just not going to make any more moves. No, we're going to keep it the same. They're a little bit tired, but they're not that tired. They're good enough to play. Chapman and Osario is the move I was thinking of. I think of taking one of those two out in this game, but I don't think we need to do that. I think we will submit and let's go. Made a couple of uh, changes here and there, but let's not change it too much. Let's not mess with success. So Borgen in goal, of course, taking the captain's armband. Cabra, Romeo, Henry again making his debut. Still only one appearance, apparently. Whatever. Uh, Nana taking his spot at the right hand fullback side. David Norman comes in. In the midfield with our field, Davies, Chapman, Osario, and David. Panama looks like they're going a little bit defensive here. Mejia in goal. Uh, Gardia, Cummins making his debut apparently. Murillo, Mirambel could actually be making his debut. He's got no appearances apparently. Cooper taking the captain's armband in the midfield. He's got an amazing haircut. Sort of the, the wedge going on there. But Armando Cooper, 6.2 rating. Not real good. Martinez on the right. Gonzalez. Sanchez, not a great rating. And Stevens up top. Seems like they're missing a couple of their big players. They have Murillo playing central defense. I guess he can play there. I mean, yeah. He doesn't have a huge problem playing there. He's probably a little bit better. He's probably actually a lot better as a fullback. But if they need him at central defense, he can certainly play there. All right, let's get back to the match. Here we go. They are going with this sort of 4-4-2 defensive formation. We'll see, uh, we'll see what they do. We're going to try to hold possession against them. That might be the best thing to do. We'll be wary of their counterattack. But at the same time, I think... We've got the quality. So let's go. Pep talk. Let's be passionate. I expect... Um, let's see. We've been on a good run lately. Go out there and impress me. Okay. Only Nana is happy with that. Everybody else is just sort of like... Whatever. Whatever. Alright. So Cooper... Gonzalez, they got a lot of leading assist players. Hmm, okay, the leading goal scorer is Sanchez. The stats are messed up for whatever reason. They don't keep very good track from competition to competition. Anyway, kickoff, let's go. Here we are, the Rose Bowl sold out. Nothing but red and white. We are in the whites. Panama in the all reds today, trying to confuse our fans and everyone else in the stands because 
it kind of looks like a uh, Canada versus Canada game. Here we go. Davies with the free kick. Sends it into the first row. You know, it's like a red and white scrimmage going on here. It's kind of kind of strange to see the all reds versus the all whites. Not uh, not New Zealand all whites, but you know, just jersey wise. All right, here we go. Throw in far side. Cabra gets it to Chapman. Davies, Norman, Norman storming through misses his shot over the bar. Okay. He could have taken another touch and squared up to the goal. That would have been a little bit better. You know, honestly, I, I if I brought in Norman, I probably should have also brought in um, his partner rather than keeping him in there. Oh, here's David on the run. David gets one past Mejia, and we score the opening goal to uh, save me from that... That thing that I said before. Anyway, David, great goal. This is why this is why he's such a game changer as a striker. He can just squeeze through these openings. Look at him accelerate past the defense. And he can sort of take it to another level that maybe Hundle can't reach, unfortunately. And that Cavallini, it's just not part of his game. Cavallini, he's a target man, you know. He's good, but he doesn't have anywhere near the pace and acceleration that David has. So here we go. Here's Davies on the left-hand side. Looking out wide to Nana. Up, up in the attack, you know, trying to be an outlet. Chapman takes a shot. He probably should have backheeled that. We had an open partner there in the middle. If he'd have backheeled that, we'd have had a much better shot. Oh, here we go, Panama. This is what Panama likes to do. They like to keep the game close and then win it on these sorts of scramble plays. I, he looked offside, but the flag man has kept his flag down and there's no VAR to save us. So the first, first one goes in. Nana heads it out. Oh, it was Stevens who made the run. Okay, so there were a couple of Panamanians offside, but Stevens was not. Let's see if we can target him. There he is. See, he's onside. And he gets the uh, rebound goal to even it up. So that's what Panama likes to do. They are a scramble team. They are a team that likes to make the game ugly, play defense, get the counterattack, get the set pieces. That kind of stuff. Here we go. Osario. Line in one up. Oh, Maria makes the save, but Henry is there. Is he onside? No. Goal disallowed. Take a look at Henry at the bottom of your screen. Yeah, apparently offside. By a wide margin. Okay. Okay. Nearly got the go-ahead goal, but we are putting more pressure on these guys. I don't have a ton of worry at the moment. Nana wins the header. Our field, he's centering it to Norman, who's going to take that shot. Great save by Mejia, but that was, it was a great shot from Norman. That's what he's been doing with us, for us, in Vancouver. So I got a lot of confidence in him. Davies sends one in. Romeo with the header. Romeo is going to be our starting central defender for Vancouver when he gets back from the national team. Might even give him a new contract. Have to look at his contract and see if he's got a starter, starting contract or not. So it's probably going to be either Romeo and Jaguar or Romeo and Hakkinen starting in central defense for us in Vancouver. Here's Mirambel. Throw in for Panama. Sort of uh, wasting time in their own end here, which is, you know, kind of what they like to do. They like to just sort of mess around with it and then try to hit you on the counterattack. You can see their forwards breaking, but they don't get the pass. Instead, they send it nearside to Gonzalez, who is absolutely a thousand percent wide open. He takes a shot. Uh, let's take a look at our opposition instructions. Who's this Gonzalez character? 
I mean, he should be covered. We're tightly marking him even. Let's try tightly marking Martinez as well. Can't just leave him wide open like that. Here is another highlight, Panama. There is our dude, Gonzalez, again wide open. Who's who's not marking him? That's got to be Asario who's not marking him, right? Um, and I think Asario is on the attack, and that's probably why he's not marking him, right? So let's put him on support. Beef up our defense a little bit. And there we go. So now he should be he should drop back and mark hopefully hopefully all right so good conversion in the final third that's good hardly conceded any free kicks in promising areas that's good struggled for possession in the opposition's half that is less promising dressing room all right pep talk we've been the better team just keep doing what you're doing and we'll win all right not a tremendously uplifting halftime speech, but you know what? Let's just do it and not talk about it. No need to talk about it at this point. We're just got to do it. Take a, oops, I was going to take a look at our ratings, but we get a throw in near side. Cabra to Davies. Our field, he's going to take the shot off the post. David can't get there. He's offside anyway, so it doesn't matter. Let's, uh, let's get on side, boys. Let's get on side. I was going to give a shout, but it's too early in the half to give a shout, apparently. Davies is nervous. We've got a lot of nervous boys out there. So let's, let's concentrate. How about that? No. Overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. I should have demanded more, I think. They, re they react much better to demanding more. Um, Chapman's a little tired. Osario's not playing very well 60 minute point is already passed here we go throw in romeo to davies chapman okay okay norman boots it forward davies heads it down to chapman he's gonna fire one i don't think he should have done that he should have passed it around i think Hmm. I got a weird feeling. Got a weird feeling. I kind of want to make a change. Kind of want to make a tactical change. I want to go to this. I want to go to the 442. Okay. Um, put Norman back here. Um, take Chapman out and bring in, of course, Cavallini at the target man position. I, th I just, I feel like this is going to be better for us. Don't ask me what, what cautious mentality I don't know so much about. We'll go back to positive. Hmm, is this what I want to do? Is this what I want to do? Or do I actually want to go on the attack? Not really. I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to cancel. I don't have the guts. I don't have the guts to do it. All right, let's play. So my thought behind that is to get another striker in the game to get another guy who can score goals because both Chapman and Asario are not playing well. There are two playmakers, and if they're not making plays, and J.A. Chapman is exhausted, so we got to get him out of there anyway. All right, I've talked myself into it. I am going to make that change. All right, just a few minutes later than what had been expected. All right. So again, Norman, Norman, come on, get out of here. Norman, back to this, David, and then we will bring in Cavallini. We'll go positive. Standard mixed, yeah, 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 tacking width. 
Let's go fairly wide. They're packing it in. So let's go fairly wide. We got the two strikers up there anyway. They can they can do all the attacking they want. Transition. Oof. Yeah, we'll regroup. You know, because the thing we don't want is we don't want to get caught in the counter by these guys. Oops, oops, oops. Confirm changes. Let's go. All right, I almost messed it all up. All right. So we're about to change our formation. Maybe. 76 minutes. There we go. We made the change. We got Cavallini in the game. Take our field out as our next substitution, I think. Even though we could use him in there for his penalty taking, just in case. Here we go. Jonathan Asario, throw in to David. Oh, mess up on the back post, but David can't get the angle on that shot. That was a very difficult angle. It was a great steal. They... They still got their 4-2, 4-4-2. Here's Cooper with a free kick. Get over. Thank you. Borgian forced to make the save. That'll give Panama a corner with 87 minutes down. This could be disastrous. Narbonne waiting, waiting, looking, staring into the crowd now. He takes the... Okay, it's headed out. David heads it on. Can't beat Martinez to it. And Panama's going to look to uh, rebuild their attack. But the highlight ends there. All right. Our field's looking exhausted. So the question is, do we go for the win in extra time? Or do we play for shootout? Because he's got 12 penalty taking. How's T-Bert looking? Hebert only has eight penalty taking. You know, I'm. Ooh. If anything, we should take Norman out instead. Norman's penalty taking is terrible. David's penalty taking is terrible. Does um, Hundle have better penalty taking? No, not at all. Do you have anybody on the bench with great PK? No. No. Eek. No. No. Uh, Tamori, possibly. E. No. <sighs> so, we don't really have a ton of options in terms of penalty taking, so we don't really want to take our field out. Unfortunately. Um, take a Sario out for Timoteo. Yeah. That's our one definite move but for now here we go two minutes of stoppage time left Borgian bombs one downfield to Asario he's got it drops it back to our field he's got Norman wide open Norman's got some space to operate out wide tried to get it to Cabra Got to rebuild the attack, but Cabra just bangs it downfield. Cavallini wins a header to Davies. He's, God, they had our field open for a moment there. Norman takes the shot, and Norman, with a minute and a half to go in extra time, bangs in an amazing goal. He missed the pass to our field, who was open, streaming down the center. He's wide open. Norman decides to take it himself and bang it from 35 yards off the post and in for a dramatic possible winning goal. 15 seconds to go. Henry, Nana, going to be wasting some time here. Five seconds to go. Arfield bangs one downfield. David on the run. David behind the defense. David salts it away. With a uh, interesting sliding goal after the rebound. Wow. Wow. Talk about drama at the end of the match. Asario to Arfield just picks David out. 
runs past the defense. He's got Cavallini with him, but he doesn't need him. Slide tackles the ball into the goal. Sort of reminiscent of Panama's goal. You can see it again. Yeah, well onside. There we go. 3-1. Surprising outcome. Pretty amazing. You know, from where we were, such a tight match all game long. Did that tactical change make a difference? I mean, I guess we did score two goals after making that change. The problem I have was that I don't have a ton of logic behind why I did it. It was just sort of a feeling. I just looked at their defense and thought, you know what? We could use a target man up top. We could use an extra attacker up top, and none of our none of our playmakers were working. None of our playmakers were doing their job. So it was just kind of a gut feeling. Get Cavallini in there, get two strikers in there, and see what we can do. And it worked. That's all I can say is it worked. Norman played well, 8.3. Davies, David, Cavallini. Came in at the end, didn't really get a rating, but you know what, his presence may have allowed David to get past and, and, and get those goals. So there we go, player of the match. Jonathan David with two goals, Alfonso Davies with an assist, Norman with an assist, and the huge, huge goal to basically win it. Yeah, so outstanding game. And there we are, we're moving on. To the finals congratulations let's be passionate congratulations you've all dreamt of playing in the final and now you'll be doing it i am delighted so there we go canada panama 3-1 outstanding canada will certainly be looking back at some great wins along the way most notably a highly impressive 5-1 dismantling of costa rica 4-0 versus el salvador 4-1 of cuba so we have dominated some teams, even though maybe the score looks a little bit more impressive than the games. Like this one looks 3-1. That looks impressive, but we scored two very late goals. Um, Post-match press conference, David, delighted. All right, so I don't think we know yet who we're playing. We do not. It's either Mexico or Haiti, so we'll pause it here until we get to that uh final and know who the matchup is so pot okay we're back it took a little bit had to play a game in between just to get to this result but here is the result mexico 3-2 over haiti haiti gave them a heck of a game going up in the 12th minute and scoring again in the 23rd to go up 2-0 and then mexico storms back with three goals, two in the first half, one at the sort of uh, extra time in the first half, and then the winner in the 89th minute to move on to the final. So we almost faced Haiti in the championship game. That would have been pretty cool. But here we are, Canada, to play Mexico in the final. Mexico's moved up to 18th in the world ranking. Their world ranking has been bouncing around i mean they've been as low as like 23rd or it's been wild to see their uh to see their ranking but now to see them back up in 18th that's good that'll give us a target for beating them where's our ranking at these days um how do we how do we see that uh da, 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 home 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 again Where's our ranking? Come on, people. That's my profile. Where's, ah, the nation. That's what we need. 50 seconds. So we're still sort of hovering around the 50 mark. But if we can beat Mexico, you know, I say this every time, but this time I really mean it. If we can beat Mexico, that should give us a big boost in our world ranking. But that's for the next video. So we're going to end it there. Come back for the Big, big final of the Gold Cup, Canada versus Mexico. So until then, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.